everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to do a movie review because I haven't done one in a while. And this is kind of a last minute movie review because sadly, the actress Olivia Newton-John has passed away. Rest in peace, Olivia Newton-John. You were an amazing actress in the movie Green and that is the movie I'm going to review in honor of her because this was one movie I've seen her in that I really like and I'm gonna get started so Grease is about these two teenagers named Sandy who is played by Olivia Newton-John and Danny who is played by John Travolta who are both from different cliques and they both fall in love, but they let the behavior of their cliques get in the way of their romance. And they, excuse me. Anyway, they let their behavior of their cliques get in the way of the romance. Sorry, that was my wallflower alarm. I had to go put my wallflower in, which is wrong. And they try their best to get back together with the help of their friends from their cliques. So to start off, I love Grease. It's one of my favorite movies I've seen. This is probably the only this is the only Olivia Newton-John film I've actually seen her in and it's one of my personal favorites because I love it for the story, I love it for the time period it takes place in and I love it for the plot cuz this film has such a wonderful plot in it and it's got great characters and I just love the way the setting looks and I like the way the clothes were in that time period and it's just a great film in general general because it's just a really fun movie and I think this is mentioned in my top 10 musicals which if you did not see I will link that video in the description box down below well it's a really old video of mine but it is a really fun but it is a really good video because I mentioned this film in this video so next I'm going to talk about the director this was directed by Randall Kleiser K L is in Laura E is in M elephant, I as an igloo, S as in Sam, E as an igloo, E as an elephant, and R as in rabbit. So I just spelled it that way so you guys know what letters I was saying. But anyway, I have never seen any other film that he's directed but this movie. And it's a really great film. It's super fun and it's very catchy. Next, I'm going to talk about the characters. So the I like Danny. I like how at first he... Um, Shows he really cares about Sandy, but I don't like the fact that he lets his attitude from his clique get in the way of his relationship with Sandy. And I don't like the fact that he doesn't be himself around Sandy and while trying to impress his friends. I think that's really like not a good thing he does. does. But I'm glad later on he learns from his mistakes and does anything to get Sandy back. And he's played by John Travolta, and John Travolta I recognize from Austin Powers Gold Member. I am member, and he was also in Hairspray, and he played Tracy's Turnblad's mom. Mom, by the way, comment down below if you guys want to review on um, Hairspray. Next, I'm going to talk about Sandy. I really like Sandy. She's one of those typical, very sweet girls. And I really love how she's always enthusiastic, very happy, especially about her romance. And I love how she's willing to go the risk for pretty much anything thing. And she'll do anything for others. And I really like the fact that she cares a lot about her friends as well and I love the fact that she'll do anything to win Danny back including getting a makeover. You're sorry if I spoil it for those who haven't seen it and she's played by Olivia Newton-John who recently has passed away Way and I don't recognize Olivia Newton-John from any other movie but this one and I really love her singing voice in this it's a beaut she has such a beautiful voice and I was so glad I got to watch this movie and hear her sing in this film because she had such a beautiful voice. Next I'm going to talk about Kaniki. So Kaniki is part of Danny's clique and I don't really like his bad boy behavior. I don't really like the fact that he kind of like talks Danny into kind of making bad choices around girls and I don't like the fact that he acts all cool 
and he seems to not care about others, but I like the fact that he also, that later on he develops a soft side. And he's played by Jeff Conway, and Jeff Conway, I'm not familiar with him in anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Frenchie. I really like Frenchie. I like how she is probably one of the sweetest of the pink ladies. She's part of the pink ladies clique, and I like how she cares about Sandy and becomes Sandy's friends, friend and will do anything to help Sandy, like give her a makeover, and I'm glad she just will do anything for others, and she just shows how much she cares about others and everyone in her clique, which is pretty cool. She is played by Dee Dee Khan, and Dee Dee Khan, I'm not familiar with her in anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Rizzo. So I kind of don't like Rizzo. I don't like the fact that she's very snarky, rude, snobby, and I really don't like the fact that she is um, very, um, will do anything to make other people's lives miserable, and I don't like the fact that she's rude to everyone else. But I'm glad later on she kind of becomes nicer when she helps um, the other pink ladies help Sandy. And she's played by Stockard Channing, and I've heard of Stockard Channing before, and she's from the movie Practical Magic, and pl she plays Frances Owens. Sorry, I had a tickle. Next, I'm going to talk about Jan. Jan is also part of the pink ladies group. She is very caring. She's very fun and she also treats Sandy like a friend even though she has kind of like the snobbish attitude she still cares about um not San not Jan Sandy excuse me scares about cares about Sandy and I like the fact that she'll do anything to help her as well and she's played by Jamie Donnelly and Jamie Donnelly I do not recognize her from anything else but this movie next I'm going to talk about um Marty, and she's also part of the Pink Ladies group. I really like her. She's very kind, compassionate, in it, and she is very helpful, and she also be, I like the fact that she also befriends Sandy as well, and she's played by Dinah Manoff, and Dinah Manoff, is, I recognize, I don't uh, recognize her from anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Michael Tushi, and he's from the T-Birds, which is Danny's group. I don't like how he is kind of like a jerk and acts cool, but um, I do like the fact that he will do anything to help Danny win his love back for Sandy, and I also love the fact that he appreciates Danny's love for Sandy. And he's played by Sonny Latiri, I think that's not how it's pronounced, and I don't recognize him from anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Poozy. I like how Poozy is kind of like clumsy and he um, is very like caring thing and he often makes mistakes, but I still like the fact that he still sticks by Danny and Kaniki's side even though they kind of get irritated with him and I love the fact that he will do anything to help both of them win their love interests back and I also love the fact that he sticks with the T-Birds no matter what and he's played by Kelly Ward and Kelly Ward I'm not familiar with anything else but this movie. Next I'm going to talk about the setting. This place, this film takes place in Chicago, Illinois in the year of 1989 um, I think it's a pretty nice city. I've never been to Chicago, but I've heard a lot of people say it's a really nice city from what I've heard. And it's got a really nice setting. I love the way the city looks. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I just love all the different buildings it has. And I just love the scenery. It's got a very nice scenery. Next, I'm going to talk about the songs. So I really love the songs of Greece. It's one of my favorite they're all like really good but i really like the first song which is grease which is the opening song and it introduces the film and the plot and the story and it's a pretty great song i just love the way it sounds now and then i love how the lyrics are put together and i like how it's a great introduction to the film and this is sung by frankie valley next i'm going to talk about summer nights this is a really good song i like how this explains the romance between sandy and 
Danny and how what they did, how they met and how they spent a lot of time during the summer together. It's such a great song, very fun and catchy. And I love how they have like a big crowd of people joining in on the song, which makes it extra fun. And this is sung by John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. So I do want to warn you, I forgot to mention, these songs are going to be kind of out of order just because I missed a few. few. So next I'm going to talk about the song Hopelessly Devoted to You. This is one of my favorite songs. It's such a beautiful song about how hard it is to get over someone and how you are completely devoted by your love for them and you can't get rid of them no matter how hard you try. Try, and this is sung by Olivia Newton-John. Next, I'm going to talk about Look at Me, I'm Sandra D. This is a pretty, like, I don't know why I find this song kind of funny, even though it is making fun of Sandy. I feel kind of bad, but anyway, it's a pretty fun song. I just, like, think it's funny from the way the lyrics go together, and I just think it's kind of funny because the way... Um, Rizzo sounds when she's singing it, who is played by Stockard Channing, but it's a very catchy song and it's kind of fun. Next, I'm going to talk about Grease Lightning. This is a really good song. So here's a fun fact I would quickly want to give. To give. This is going to be super quick so it doesn't make the video too long. So I like the song Look at Me, I'm Sandra D. I I think it's kind of a, I mean, not, sorry, wrong one. Uh, I like the song Grease Lightning. And also when my school was putting on a play for Grease, they actually had a car on stage for this scene of Grease Lightning, which is super cool. I think this is a pretty fun, catchy song, especially with John Travolta singing it. I don't know why. I think he sounds like Elvis Presley when he sings that this song, just the way his vocals are risen up when he's singing it. And it is a pretty fun song, and I just love the way it sounds, and I love the dance sequence to it. And this is sung by John Travolta and Jeff Conway. Next, I'm going to talk about There Are Worse Things I Could Do. That I don't really like this song just because it is a really cruel song about the mean things you can do to hurt somebody. And I don't really like that, and I just don't like the way... I do like the way it's sung, but I just don't like the lyrics that are put in because it talks about all the bad things you can do to hurt other people. And this is sung by Stockard Channing. Next, I'm going to talk about um, Beauty School Dropout. This is a song um, when Frenchie decides to go back to school after she drops out of beauty school because it's not working out for her. Next, I'm... And this is sung by Frankie Avellian. Next, I'm going to talk about Born in Hand Jive. So Born in, ooh, Born in Hand Jive is a pretty good song. Song. I love the way it sounds, and I like the dance sequence. And it's got some, and it is a pretty fun song to dance to. And I just love the way it sounds. And I remember when my school, my high school was doing this play, they actually did a really good job doing the exact thing, thing of the same, doing the exact singing of the hand jive and the dance thing. It was so cool. The next song I do like is You're the One That I Want. That is one of my favorites from the movie Grease. It's a really good song. I like it. It's a really fun song with John Travolta singing it and... and Olivia Newton-John singing it. They do such a good job, and so does the rest of the cast as well. Another song I like, um, fun fact, I actually learned this in choir, is We Go Together. This is a really fun song because it sings about how everybody goes together no matter what cliques they're from and how they shouldn't be letting their cliques get in the way of their friendships or romance, which I think is a really good thing. And I remember learning this song in choir when I was, I think, in eighth grade. And it is a really good, fun song, and I really like it. So... I would recommend Grease to anybody who likes Olivia Newton-John because she was such a beautiful actress and anybody who likes John Travolta because he's such a great actor. And I would recommend this to anybody who is very familiar with the stage play Grease because this is pretty much just like the stage play except it only has one song that is not in the stage play. But 
Okay, so I definitely highly recommend this movie to anybody who is a huge fan of the stage play Grease. So that was my review of Grease in honor of Olivia Newton-John. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!